Right, so let's begin just by coming into a comfortable posture. Whatever feels comfortable for you is good. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or a cushion or even lying down. Make sure that the posture that you pick is comfortable for you right now. And from here, allow your body to relax. If there's any muscular tension present, perhaps in the face or the jaw, shoulders or the arms, the hips or the legs, any tightness anywhere in the body, if you can allow that to relax. If you notice that a particular spot was tense or tight, keep an eye on that part of your body during this session. It might tighten up again. And if you notice that, just allow it to relax once again. We often go through cycles of tensing our body and relaxing. So, if, so see if you can ease your body in the direction of relaxation, letting go of muscular tension. And with this comfortable, relaxed body, bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a simple, light smile. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a light, easy smile on your face. These are the three basic elements that we want prepared in our body for metta practice. We wanna be comfortable and at ease. We wanna be relaxed, letting go of muscular tension. And we wanna establish and maintain a gentle, easy smile on our faces. And having done these things, just take a moment to familiarize yourself with what this feels like. To have a body that's comfortable, muscles that are relaxed, and a light, free smile on your face. Just taking these steps is an act of self-care, of love for yourself. And that's already metta, already loving kindness. Just to put your body at ease and allow yourself to be slightly happier from smiling. Having prepared your body for metta practice, let's begin to prepare the mind. Take a moment to reflect intellectually on things that you're grateful for. You 
consider things in your life, people, relationships, opportunities that you are truly grateful for. It might be small, like the fact that you're breathing right now. Or they might be big and special, like a promotion that you got recently or someone coming into your life, a new friend or lover. It could be anything at all that you're grateful for. In any case, reflect on what feels authentic for you. Consider what you feel grateful for. Notice if considering these things has any impact on your body. Perhaps the smile on your face widens slightly. Perhaps some warmth comes into your heart. Perhaps there's just a greater sense of ease. If there's any impact on your emotional body from reflecting on what you're grateful for. Really enjoy that. Notice it and savor it. In the same way that we prepared our bodies for metta practice, reflecting on what we're grateful for prepares the mind for metta practice. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone that's easy for you to love. Maybe it's a friend or a family member, a teacher or some kind of mentor. Maybe it's a small child or an animal. Pick someone in your life that you feel you can love easily. Someone who it's easy for you to feel love towards. Young children and animals are excellent choices for this because you can just feel a simple yet full and easy love for these people. Consider this person or animal that's easy for you to love. 
and visualize them clearly in your mind. See an image of this person or animal, perhaps at a time when they were happy, smiling or laughing. Use your mind's visual faculties to imagine, to visualize this person or animal that's easy for you to love. And with this image in mind, see if you can wish them well. Extending an attitude of love and friendliness and care towards this person or animal. Maintaining the image or bringing up new images, but also holding this clear intention of love, genuinely wishing that this person or animal would be happy. wanting them to be happy, delighting in their happiness. Use your mind's eye, your visual capacities to play with this intention, to explore an attitude of love towards others. And again, notice if this has any impact on your emotional body. Perhaps on the smile on your face or in the area around your heart. If there is any kind of emotional response or resonance in the body, Notice that and enjoy it, savor it. Like a delicious meal at a restaurant or a beautiful sunset at the end of a long and wonderful day. In the same way, enjoy any joy or happiness or love that comes into your body.
if you're enjoying this exercise of directing love towards an easy to love person or animal, feel free to stay with that if you like. You can stay with this exercise for as long as you like. And you can always come back to it. But if you'd like, you can set that aside and continue with this theme of exploring visual images as a way to generate love and loving kindness. Visualize yourself as a being of love. You may be feeling this love and care in your body already. And you can use that feeling to visualize that love in your body, perhaps embodying it as a kind of light, light pouring out of your body, radiating out. You can be creative with this. I like to imagine golden light coming out of my heart and my hands, or sometimes red light, it's pouring out of my body. It's just so much love, so much care. It's overflowing. Use your imagination to visualize yourself as a being of love. in whatever way resonates for you. The basic move that we're exploring tonight is using our mind's imagination to generate images of love, to notice if that causes feelings of joy or happiness or love in the body. So you can really use any image you like to generate these feelings. You can be playful and creative. So I'll describe what I like to do. You can follow along with that as you, if you like. Feel free to do anything whatsoever. To follow your own intuition and creativity. So for me, I like to imagine the light pouring out of my heart in my hands, this glowing light of love, often with gold or red colors. My favorite thing to do is imagine that I can fly. Imagine that I can fly. Just like a superhero. And so I lift off from the ground wherever I happen to be and fly into the air, just overflowing with love and light. And my job, my mission, my purpose is to fly around the world, sending that love, directing that light towards as many beings as I possibly can. And I visualize myself flying around and shooting the love, the light out of my hands towards different people. Maybe people I know and care about, or maybe total strangers.
just stay with what seems interesting and enjoyable to me. Not only who I'm directing it towards, but what it looks like, the love and the light, and even how my body moves as I fly. How would I hold my body if I could shoot love out of my hands? It's delightful just to imagine it. Can have the same kind of thrill that a really good scene in an action movie has. Except instead of hurting people, I'm radiating love out into the world. Whatever you decide to visualize, see if you can enjoy it, just like that. Using visuals in your mind to imagine yourself loving others. And as always, as you visualize in your mind this activity of loving others, notice if there's any resonance or response in the body. And if there is, enjoy it as deeply as you can.
Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. Consider what it was like for you. Try to remember what happened and what you enjoyed and learned from. Considering as well anything that might have been hard for you or challenging. Reflecting intellectually on what your experience was like. 